Yo, welcome back, YouTube. Sexy Sam Lunder Squad, how you guys doing? We are playing Ymir in the jungle, but not just any Ymir in the jungle. We were playing Crit Ymir in the jungle, which is pretty insane. Oh, man, look at the skins. Yo, actually, Mint Choco Ymir kind of looks banger. That looks terrifying. That's a scary one. I'm going to go Blob Mir, though. So Ymir got changed a little bit. Let's go over it real quick. His Ice Wall, when he places it down now, when he places his Ice Wall down, it will either knock back or forward any enemy that he places it on, but he will also knock himself forward if you place your wall under your own, um, under your own feet. So you can actually use it to propel yourself pretty far uh, or propel the enemy away from you pretty far. Uh, but because in Smite 2, instead of ability power or uh, or like magical power or physical power, there's only strength and intelligence and any god can build any item. I can go crit love you. with Hydras. I love you too. Um, and try to bop the absolute ever living shit. Out of everybody. So that's what I'm going to do. They have a face punch Ymir build already in here. They have an auto build face punch Ymir. High res knows what they're doing. They're geniuses. I'm not going to use it because I'm my own person, but they are geniuses. All right, let's see. From Skobalt, Steam only. Um, my two founders edition from Nexus.gg slash Let's go attack speed. Um, or no, let's go. Crit chance. There's, I can get 7% crit chance at the gate. You know what I'm going to do? I'm just going to buy a bunch of pots. I'm going to buy a bunch of pots and I'm going to buy... Is there attack speed? Yes, there's attack speed here. That I can buy. nothing of it. Because I think attack speed is going to be better than crit chance right out the gate, probably. My passive is... My passive does scale off of strength. You can see 185% strength, which is my frostbite. Um, Your 2 is changed a little bit. And you can move while using your 2. Um, You do move a little bit slower, as you can see. It does say... Yes. Oh, actually, it doesn't say right here. Yes. There you go. You are 42.5% slowed during okay. activation. But your abilities are basically the same. Thanks. You can move during your two. Um, you can knock back or knock yourself forward with the wall. Other than that, I mean, we're going crit, man. I don't really know how to jungle, to be honest with you. I'm just going to go like here, 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 and gank duo. Or gank solo, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. All I know is it's going to be crazy. I don't know how tanky these things are either. Oh, they're weak. They're weak. Nice. Let's get one auto in each of them. And then my two will finish it off. I missed one. My bad. Okay. Ymir passive is the same. But Ymir's passive scales off of strength. Whereas all of his other abilities scale off of intelligence. Okay. So let's get our freeze. Nice. Pick up Blight. Oh, we can't pick it up yet. Let's do this guy's blue buff. Also, Ymir's 2 doesn't get placed and then do another tick of damage. I just realized. Oh god, he's fucking Thor, dude. He's Thoring me. Alright, hold on. He's dead to archers. I got an assist for that. Okay, watch this. Oh, you see that? I got I got tossed by my own tower. Or by my own my own thing just there. I'm ganking. 
I'm ganking, I'm ganking, I'm ganking. Big damage. Almost. Almost. Let's get this blight down. Alright, Warhorn is the solo lane objective. Alright, let's go. Let's go back to base now. And I will get my Manchu Bow, which is going to do 10 bonus damage per auto attack and give me 10 strength and some more attack speed. And that's going to build into every single attack speed item basically in the game. Only need one more gold. Thank you. So now we got the Manchu Bow. And 10 extra damage per auto is a lot of damage early game. That's a big difference. All right, not bad. Um, I guess I'll level my two and then let's, let's toss myself a bit. Toss myself a bit over here. My two almost full clears these actually. If I went to, if I want a magical build instead of a like an auto attack crit build one it'd be less fun but two it would clear these camps really fast oh nice j2b let's go I'm the greatest. Okay. oh do you see the wall the wall knocked him out of his stealth back towards me. That's insane, to dude. Enemy That's base. insane. All right. Red buff is spawning right now. Red buff, aka blight buff. There we go. And I don't think buffs actually spawn until they're level two. Like you can't pick up, pick up buffs until they're level two. Okay, there we go. I have primal buff. 15 protections upon hitting an enemy god, max of three stacks. Not bad. Yeah, instant cast exists and I'm using it. That's why it might look weird for you if you're not used to like instant cast or you're not playing on instant cast. All right. I'm coming. Wait, I heard someone. Oh. Let's go. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, close. Oh, God. Wait, got him. All right, let's get out of here. Here's another oh, shit. To do content less than wait, three. wait, run. Run, buddy! Run, buddy! Boom! Let's go, man! That wall is so good! All right, so this is 55 strength, some attack speed. Is there a hastened katana? Well, there's a kins. There's still kins. You gain 15 basic attack damage stacking time. Oh my god. Nice solo. Oh my two clears. That is I very satisfying. That is very satisfying. You hit him and you got with the basic attack. You you gain 5% reduced basic attack movement to final seat by four seconds, stacking four times. So does that mean that I can actually get like hastened from Atalanta's? Um, all targets hit, take five plus two per level basic attack damage. Okay. Um, 
I guess that means... So that's like, that gives you strength and intelligence and attack speed. I want crit chance though. I guess, oh, here we go. This is crit chance. It doesn't use the bow, but that's okay. So let's go, let's go Baneful Rapier and then Braggy's Harp. Baneful Rapier is going to give me crit chance. I think it's at 20%, right? 20% crit chance. A plus, whenever I hit an enemy god, I get attack speed. Um. Oh, the crit number looked cool. Crit number looked cool, everyone. Crit number looked cool. All right, let's kill this guy. Let's go, dude. Let's go, man. All right. I'm going to keep invading if I can. I'm returning to base. Okay, my two is now maxed out. Oh, can we attack mid? No, I tossed him the wrong way. I tossed him the wrong way, man. Damn. My fault, my fault. All right, let's go back. We can get our Baneful Rapier now so we can actually do some damage. And then um, I'm actually going to grab another bow. Just an additional... What, how much attack speed is that? An additional 5% attack speed on top. So now I have 20% crit chance. 15% uh, attack speed. And you can see on the on the the right of my face cam, I have 105 power, 105 strength. All right, spot me forward. Using that one just for a little bit additional movement speed is actually so nice. Ability ready to rank up. I guess I'll rank up my three. Oh, I missed. Those crits look so cool. Those crits look so cool. Oh, let's drop a defensive ward for my boy J2B. MT, thank you for the prime. Let's invade a little bit here. Maybe these XP camps are up. Oh. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Oh. I'm going to crit the crap out of you. Oh my god, he got owned. He got owned by that crit chance, dude. Okay. Let's grab this gold here. Grab the gold for the team. What up, Yas? Oh, this is mine. Sorry. Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are, huh? Ah! Who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? Who do I think I am? Do I think I am? Oh! Oh my, oh my god, 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 oh my god! Oh my god! Nice. Nice. Let's go, J2B with the Slaparusku. Ah, don't die! Don't die! 
camp. Oh my god, that would have been the first camp I died to in Smite 2. Um. All right, let's go Atalanta's bow. We're gonna go Atalanta's bow because what Atalanta's bow does is it gives you reduced basic attack movement speed penalty by 20% because it stacks up. And it also. It also increases your strength, which is what my passive is based off of, which is how much damage I deal. I do want Hydras, if there is a Hydras. Okay. I need to figure out if there's a Hydras. So Hydras would probably just be under strength, right? Um. Oh, there is a Hasten Katana. When you critically strike an enemy god, you gain 10% move speed. Oh, that's a crit item now. Okay. Um, let's just go all strength items. Um, are there, is there no haste and katana or no, no, oh, hydras. When you use an ability, you gain 30% increased basic attack damage. All right. Hydras is my next item. Hydras is my next item. Perfect. Completed. I could go Hydras and Polly, but Polly scales off intelligence. And I'm not building any intelligence. I'm only building strength. Oh, I could wall. All me, by the way. All me, all me. There's someone behind me. I heard him. I I stink. See that wall? Oh, 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 let's go! Jorno the bitch! Get out! Let's go, dude! actually crapped on holy i'm bonking dude i'm returning to base nice the trinkets are starting to drop because i've leveled up my camps to level three so what the trinkets do are every every xp camp you see on the map here when it's level three they drop a buff called the Trinket, which gets you 150 HP shield. Um, and you can stack them for a maximum of 900 HP shield. You can see my the shield that I have in the bottom right now on my health bar. I have 322. But the fun fact about it, it doesn't actually count as a buff. So you can pick that up and I can pick up Blight, which gives me burn damage on my abilities and my, my auto attacks. Look at that damage. Look at that damage. Oh my God. You can't auto attack your mirrored baby. Up chunking. Thanking him to chunking donuts. 450 damage crits. 450 damage crits. Oh. oh, I heard him. I heard him. I heard him. Boom! 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 <laughs> you can't stop me. I do crit damage. Holy. Hello? Boom! 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 <laughs> I believe in you. 
Oh, man. Good luck. Good luck. Let's get the Hydras. All right, now let's start going only crit. Only crit chance. Deathbringer. Oh my god, man. Five hundred and thirty damage, by the way, with that crit. And I have Hydras. Look how much this first auto does. Three hundred and ninety-four. Three hundred and ninety-four on that first auto, dude. Um, Deathbringer gives you 25% increased crit strike damage and 20% crit. Okay. We probably should be doing gold. Bro, I do so much damage. I do so much damage. How does strength versus intelligence work? So every single thing in the game now scales off of either strength or intelligence or both. Hold on. Ow, what was that damage? What just hit me? Um, it scales off of either strength or intelligence or both. And um, strength generally... Like, let me just show you. Let me just back here and I can show you. Because I need to buy this Kopesh anyways. So if you look at my abilities here, my passive, you see it, it scales 185% off of strength and 37% off of intelligence. What that means is when I build strength, my frostbite is going to scale almost 200% off of that and increase that damage to my auto attack, right? Like, I just crit, I crit that thing for 700 just now. The one... As you see, doesn't do any damage, doesn't scale off anything. It's simply, it's simply still just a wall. The the two scales off of um 55% of your intelligence, which as you can see on my right, I have zero. It's the little book that's intelligence, which means it's gaining no scaling, so it's only doing 190 oh, base damage. Yeah. Um I'm not in the sport. Steam only. It's my two founders. And your ultimate Nexus. scales off of only magical again. 150 magical scaling. As you can see at the top, it says 950 base damage, no extra scaling. Um, and every god in the game is different, depending on what scales off what. But you can build either strength or intelligence to utilize different parts of your kit. Uh, more or less sculpting the god even more so the way you want to. Like, I, I, I just boned him. Where are you going? Where are you going? I've been owned. Come this way, come this way, come this way. I stole that and I'm not sorry is there a blink there is active items in the game I haven't messed around with them at all there's active items in the game and one of the active items is blink but I'm just going for pure crit chance right now you know so my crit chance right now I'm pretty sure is only 20% Um, 20% with this extra. I have 30% crit chance right now. And then at 1450, I'll get an extra 12% or an extra 10%. I mean, sorry. Sorry. I wonder if this Bacchus can kill me. Wait a second. Ow. 
He auto attacked me for so much. I just got owned. Yeah, I'm not playing in the highest setting either because I want it. I want to get like it's not optimized yet. You know, this is this is literally just. Sorry. Um. I, I was ta I was tabbed out because I was tabbed out because I was answering shit. Um but Yeah, it's not optimized. It's literally the closed alpha. It's the first time anybody is allowed to show any footage of the game. It is not going to be good. You know? It is a I just did 900 damage. I did 900 damage with that auto attack. 900. I am doing 900 damage per auto attack. What the fuck? Can anyone play? You have to buy the Founders Edition off of my Nexus. But if you have the Founders Edition for the game, then yes, you can play. Alright, I have a 900 HP shield. I literally have a 900 HP shield. Oh, he's giving me Blight. Thank you. Blight level 3, baby. All right, what's my next crit chance item? Um, you and allied gods gain strength and attack speed. It's an active item. And it's 18% crit chance. Okay, let's get that. It's an active item that I am going to have to, like, remember to press the button for, but... Attack the gold fury. All right, I have 40% crit chance right now. I hear Loki. He ran away. Anubis, show up. Show up, buddy. I'm going to go back and I'm going to get my death medal. That's an additional 18% crit chance. Your right tower is under attack. So now what? I have a 60% crit chance pretty much. Because I have 18% there. But I can activate it. And so, okay. I can press Q. 
I can press Q right now to activate my death metal, which is going to give me an additional 35 strength and 60 intelligence and 20% attack speed. So it's going to make it's going to make both my autos and my abilities do more damage and give me more attack speed. Right, I have a, I have an 800 HP shield. Oh, I'm getting maximum blight again. Let's go. Oop. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm just gonna go find someone and punch him in the forehead. Uh, I'm getting into some of this Hi, Bacchus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I crit for a thousand. I actually crit for a thousand just now. Don't worry. I got you. All right. Yeah, they definitely have some to work on for sure. Ooh. Come here. I can't walk. Right, I'm backing. Boom! 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 Nope, you're not killing me. I'll walk away. Oh, fuck. Nice. Nice kill. I feel like Honor's 2 pushes so far now. Alright. Goodbye. Let's get an additional 10% crit chance here. That should bring us to almost... Mo like, most of our autos should crit now, right? Most of our autos should crit. Thanks for the prime. Thanks for the prime. Appreciate you. This Your is so sick, dude. A right enemy tower. Look at my little jump animation. It's kind of bugged, but it's kind of cool, too. Oh, hello. Oh, I lagged out for a second. Killing spree. All right. Besides graphically, what's different? Absolutely everything. Literally everything. There's nothing that's the same. I'm playing Crit Ymir. I'm playing Crit Jungle Ymir right now. All right, so I can actually go get my uh, my dual sword. Oh my god, I just punched him for 400. I punched him one time for 400. So what's my what's my crit chance now? 20%, 40%, 30%. 
60%. 78%. So 78% is the most crit chance you can get. Unless you want to stack tier 2 items. In replace of tier 3 items. In which case the most you could get. Is 98%. So the theoretical max crit chance is 98%. What does this sword do that I just bought? It increases my movement speed whenever I punch someone. I am owning. We should attack fire. Alright, let's go get fire, boys. I'm pretty sure I cannot solo fire. Because fire is like 20,000 health. I think they're trying to end the game. I'm just going to try. Fuck it. Cancel that. Hello. It is 16,500 health. I'm getting owned. I'm getting on. I have to run away. I've just been owned. Attack. Anubis all. Nice. Nice little fuego. Nothing like a little fuego. I'm a thousand gold away from being able to buy the 75 strength potion, which is going to give me so much damage. Um, all right. All, all attack. I'm on my way, buddy. So these objectives gives you give you permanent upgrades, by the way. And you don't get gold. You don't get gold fury and just get like a little bit of gold. You see up top here, hold on. Let me uh, let me kill this and then I'll take some time to, and explain it. I'll take some time and explain it. So um you see up here. The little dots, these are gold fury things. And every single gold fury dot gives you something new. So the first one, it permanently doubles your movement speed out of fountain. And then the second one will make your minions take reduced damage and deal more damage. And then the third gold fury is the biggest one. It means you gain 50 protections when you're near your own structure. So if you're defending, you have 50 protections each, which is really good. But it also makes you deal 25% bonus true damage to structures. So you really do want to like fight over these objectives. Every opportunity you get. Because the gold furies are crazy. And by the way. And the fire giants are also better. I don't exactly know what they do. Um, Like I don't know exactly what the fire giants upgrade i know that they do upgrade though because they have a counter right here um i just i've only ever gotten one fire giant in a game before I, a game's never gone long enough for me to get multiple fire giants look at my damage 
500 damage auto attacks with Ymir. When's the last time 800 damage auto attacks with Ymir? When's the last time you were able to see that, dude? Holy. All right, let's go get my 3K. My 3K elixir of strength. So now my strength went up by 75. Your team has destroyed a middle enemy phoenix. They, they think they will add duel or joust. I don't know. Right now, conquest is the only mode, but that's fine. 1400 damage crit. I just hit 1400 damage with an auto attack on Ymir. 1400, buddy. What the fuck? Oh my god. That's absurd. That's actually absurd. Should we just do this? Oof, oof, oof. I've been taunted. Boom! Boom! 605! 605 damage auto! Boom! Boom! 8,000! Boom! Holy fuck! Boom! 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 <laughs> Yo, you just crit me for 1k. Oh my god. I just crit that dude for a thousand. Anonymous sport, Steam only, Smite 2 Ultimate Holy Founders Edition crap. from Nexus.gg. GG, dude. Crit Ymir Jungle? Extremely fun. Extremely fun. Holy crap. If you guys enjoyed that video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, y'all, peace. Oh, my God.